Have you ever prayed the Lord's Prayer? If you have, did you really think about what you were saying? Did you really mean it? We find this prayer in Matthew 6, 9 through 13, and it goes something like this. Our Father who art in heaven, holy is your name. Your kingdom come, your will be done. Wait, did you catch that last part about your will be done? If you have ever prayed this, did you really mean it? What if your will and God's will don't align? What if God calls you to give up something you really love or calls you to do something you really don't want to do? In Luke 14, Jesus said, whoever does not carry their cross and follow me cannot be my disciple. But he goes on to give two analogies. If you want to build a tower, wouldn't you estimate the cost first? Or if a king wants to go to war, wouldn't he consider if he could actually win? So Christ is saying, if we want to follow him, which requires us to give in to his will, we first need to count the cost and take that into consideration before we start saying things like, your will be done. Ephesians 5.17 says, Therefore, do not be foolish, but understand what the Lord's will is. Make sure you know what God's will is for you. We can know God's will by reading his word and asking him to reveal it to us. Once you know his will, then ask God to change your heart so you can do it. Give your life to Christ shouldn't be a quick one-time event. It is a life-altering, mind-blowing, world-changing event that you need to take very seriously because you will never be the same. And thank God for that.